hello, hello, everybody, and Neil, it's your line. That's my line. Well, I mean, I guess you're running the production, so <laughs> hello, everybody, and welcome to Honor Bound, Redemption of the New Guard, without Ryan. Yes, but uh, we have Ryan his is beautiful off face. on his anniversary date with his girlfriend. I guess they're probably sleeping now or something. I don't know. But he's not here with us today, and so we, instead we have this lovely picture of Ryan somewhere around here. I don't actually know where it is on the overlay, but... It's somewhere around here. It's exactly there. Right. This this Perfect. side. Awesome. Okay. Um, so this yeah. is this is great. It's production the production issues as always because I forgot to completely adjust the uh, intro to the uh, new resolution screen, but it's okay. It's all good. We've dealt with worse. We've It'll dealt be fine. Worse. Okay, It'll so be fine. We didn't have an intro this week, so let's let's go over what happened last week. Justin, do you feel uh, do you feel up and going for this? Well, I mean, we didn't have anything last week, right? We skipped. Did we skip last week? <laughs> Not last week, actually. but the week, but we the, week before, yeah. that, we, the uh, week before that. We uh, we fought a devil in a throne room, uh, overthrew the cult that had corrupted all of the city states in the southern area, including Valis. Uh, we ended up killing the. the uh, he wasn't a prince, but we ended up killing the the, the figurehead. Uh, we installed the son of the s formerly second guy who we ended up killing because he was in the tower and it fell as soon as we disabled all the magic. Awkward. Installed is a strong word, man. It you, makes us sound like... You literally kind of put the crown on his head. Yeah, I mean, we it was, it, have... it was a sh we Charlemagne that shit. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> I... But he was the rightful heir to the throne. It, we didn't install yes, we, him. We, we, well, Charlemagne was the rightful heir because by right of conquest, and the Pope still managed to be like, nope, I'm giving you this through God, and now you work for me. Yeah, but he wasn't installed. Installed is such a loaded word. <laughs> I, I would like to, I would like to say we we gave up power in the city back to its rightful owner. You know, I. I Installed gives such a, a nasty taste to it all, you know. I think, I think we well, did the right thing. Maybe we did the right <laughs> thing, but I'm not sure we did it the right way at minimum. Which seems to be a theme for this campaign. We end up doing good, but sometimes we don't mean to, and and at least sometimes it, works out. it kind of goes very wrong. Yes, I now have a small army of zombies, <laughs> um, that no one knows about. Yeah, you have about four zombies currently. <laughs> I, I have four zombies who have ridiculous HP, for the record. And then they d cannot die because of their stupid con save. I mean, they can die, but it is it's very improbable. Unlikely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think and that's about it. We, we made a couple yeah, of... You got a couple of uh, messages in towards... We like, did, you we sent did a couple some shopping. Me. We did some uh, miscellaneous, you know, tending to... The, our grand conspiracy to defeat the old gods, but uh, and, and I I can I can make potions at a low percentage chance now. Yeah, and I think that about covers it all about what happened on the bound. So uh, ugh. let's see what happens this week. I have no idea what number week we're on. I think this is oh, and I thought twenty. I actually thought of something pretty decent, mm. Neil. Um. Mm. If you if we ever have a day where where we know we're not going to do anything important, I could have you make potions with the lucky feet. Mm-hmm. I was thinking about that. Uh, how do I need some sort of training or? No, it's can just, you just supervise and I do the check. rolls. Yeah, I just I just need to like show you the recipe and be like, oh, you do this and this and this, and it's just purely based on your medicine check whether or not it works or not. That's minus one for me. Yeah, yeah. but with the reroll, well, how does that work good. out for chances with the reroll? I don't know. An advantage would be would well bounded our car so you'd have a plus five to it. And so and so there's a big discussion on this, so you do you would have a better chance than uh than Justin on this. Really? Well, What's your me, but the question Justin? Is, it's based on Wiz, so it's like negative one. Oh, so we both have negative one. Yeah. The the only oh, person okay, who has yeah. a positive wisdom check in the in the party is Ryan. <gasps> okay. Well then it, Actually I think I think Ryan it statistically Ryan at plus four might actually be better than you if yours oh, is negative absolutely. one, even with a reroll. For me, it's just a 5% chance. It's like a... 
like we, we just use numbers two through twenty because one gets rerolled. It's only like a five percent buff. You know, it's the equivalent of a, a plus actually one almost. Maybe it is. Uh, it'd be really close. Uh, I'm gonna think about yeah. it. Yeah, I think Ryan would probably be a better one to do if you can trust him not to steal the potion. Well, he did a couple last time. Yeah, he did a couple last time. He ended yeah. up. It, we we decide his DC is fifty fifty. Like it's literally fifty fifty on the die for him. Oh, nice. Oh, that's right. I remember doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, uh, eleven plus was a success on the die, and then 10, 10 or less was a failure. Mm -hmm. So that's the that's a DC fifteen, I think. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. for you, your average is ten and a half. With the reroll, it's fourteen. Even and then the minus one 14. is thirteen. Yeah, how does it get to be fourteen? Because on average, advantage is worth is advantage is worth plus three point five. But I don't have advantage. I just have reroll one. Yeah, but it would be advantage because no. But you can use your lucky feet. You can oh, roll my lucky, lucky feet! I thought you meant my halfling luck. No, your lucky feet. On, uh, that's why I said on a day where we know we're not going to be fighting anything, so you don't have to worry I about see using it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, because it's just a long rest, right? That's just a one a yeah. day thing, daily thing. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, we could totally do that. But that bits you at say so you on average you would roll a thirteen, which is two less. Well going back to D and D, well, actually what's happening right now. <laughs> because you are in D and D. You guys um have slept one night. Um, in the castle of Valis. I would like you both to do me constitution checks. The constitution and saving throws during that night when you wake up. Uh, I have uh, advantage on con saving throws. If it says that you have, you have. I'm a halfling. Uh, I'm a ha stout halfling. I have advantage on con saves. Do it. Isn't that just poison? This is not poison. Oh, you're right. It's just poison saves. Yeah, dwarves have the same thing. Okay. So just give me a uh... twenty-one. Ah, it's, a, it's a really terrible roll. Okay, so Fimble, you wake up. Yeah. You feel a bit ill. Just just about how you were feeling, Neil. Yeah. Uh, yeah just I go. I find the nearest bathroom. Yes. Uh, I but run to the nearest bathroom. You enter the nearest bathroom. You you puke a bit. You feel a lot better after. It's it's okay. Uh, and you just hear Martha going at it, like going at it. Like, well, this is an exciting D and D adventure. <laughs> <laughs> and after you actually I just role played this for for a couple of hours yesterday and the day before. Uh, and this after is... actually you finish all of this and you, you manage to kind of get a bit better, uh, Martha, you actually use nine points out of your maximum HP. Ow. Okay. Wow. That might have killed the normal person. That might have killed the normal person, yeah. What is... Oh, it's from the uh, uh, the Altagiu, isn't it? I forgot. Maybe. <laughs> I was like, why is this happening? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and you see you hear knocking on your door. There is definitely somebody at your door right now. I answer my door. Uh, <laughs> sir... Um, a guard dressed all in the armor of Varus. Uh, one of the um, old guards that have been brought back from hiding or from Bonjurati's ranks looks at you and says, uh, Lord, your uh, audience is required in the uh, throne room. Lord uh, <coughs> Bonjurati has requested it. Okay. So this is where I would normally go talk to Ryan about casting Lester Restoration on me, but I guess I'll go to the throne room instead. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it seems like Bowen just went on a. I don't. I don't know how we forgot about that. We we were we had like a few days, right? Where we did the potion thing, and we gave the funeral to the chick. Mm hmm. I feel like I would have remembered to ask her. Ah, forget it. <laughs> you didn't. Yep. You're still sick. Um. Okay. So you guys go down. I mean, Fimble, do you go down to the um, to the throne with him? Uh, I don't know. I I just had to stay near the bathroom a little bit longer in case I puke more. I don't want to be like puking on the throne room. 
<laughs> okay, so um, off we go down, and Bonjuati is sitting in his throne. Uh, they're actually just just a few guys by his side. The actual ones that helped you in the fight um, seem to be talking to him. And after that, Bonjuati looks down at you and says, "Oh, uh, Master Marfu, thank you for joining us. We've received the uh, word back from Lord Bayer." Uh huh. He has said that uh, the armies and the Whispering Forest are holding steadfast. They've uh, made up the connections back with the uh, with their eyes and ears now in the south and uh, east and west of here. So they should have something new on your. Um, they said to tell you Koramon and Ranios. I do not know what those names mean. I it was said that you do. Yes. Oh wait, that is, that is all. Oh, there is another minor matter. A uh, bard has uh, requested an audience with uh, you and Master Fimble. Uh, does the bard have a name? Uh, the bard, he did not give one. He just uh, asked an audience. He had a uh, what was pretty distinct. He had a dancing dog with him. Was it a big dog or a little dog? Mm, I would say medium size, if I know if I know my dogs. And it actually danced. Yes, it actually uh, moved into on two feet and started dancing. That is the only reason I'm actually mentioning it. it most likely, it's just a bar trying to get your attention and write your tale of what you did. Many know what. Um, you have done to save the city, you and your friends. Alright, well, I, I, I guess I will receive the bard in my chambers after... Uh, but not, not today, I'm, I'm not feeling particularly well. I must see... Um... I forgot Ryan's name. <laughs> <laughs> Master... Bowen. Bowen. I must see Mr. Bowen about uh, a sickness. That has been in... Uh. Also, do you know about that hidden room with the bodies? <laughs> yes. Uh, it was yep. previously the cold room. I have had the people um, identifying the bodies, returning them from a, for a proper burial with their families if they are still alive. Yeah, so just through that trap door, there's a, uh, there's a dead monster who who's eating the dead bodies um you kind of wanted to burn that got it i i will see you done yeah okay and i if if ryan were here i would go off to find him so he has less restoration on me. well actually i will give you that if ryan would be here yeah we'll just say that ryan is currently working on restoring the cathedral that is destroyed <laughs> Yes, that you destroyed. I it was a know. good was, plan. It was not a good plan. It was a great plan. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the cathedral and I'm gonna help restore it. And I'm gonna count how many of our enemies died when it collapsed. <laughs> Justifying I destruction. <laughs> I want to know how good of a plan it was. Well, um, Fimbo, what do you do all day? Because he is, he already has what he's doing all day. Uh, did I give up all of my magical items? Nope. You still have all of them. You still you, have all of them. You gave them to be identified. It's still they will give them back to you. Okay. And the only magical have... item still uh, on you as equipped is the silver ring. And it's been Which explained isn't to you coming that you off. Used use the the iron stone again you may or may not die may or may not die that is mm -hmm. what what said to you yes you don't know if that's true or not but you know that i said i mean it. i may or may not die if i walk down the street yes very good point um okay i don't know what i'm doing with my day i think i'm just gonna walk around what would symbol i Probably to walk around this uh, town, l listening to people poking in her head into shops, into you know cafes, into little restaurants on the street, 
and see what the people are up to, and then. Mm. So do you want me to? Do you want? Are you searching for any specific information or just random to hear what people are like? Uh, I I want to keep my ears peeled for how people feel about the the conflict that has just happened. Okay, so um, give me an investigation check. You will have an advantage on this. Okay, investigation is minus one. R two D twenty D one plus minus one. Rolling. So fourteen. You actually do figure out uh, the general mood of the people. It is very happy. Um, they have known about Bonjuati for a long time, and he has actually saved several people uh, in town from being hung, from being killed, and took them under um, into their into his underground bases around the city. And they feel pretty well. They it would be they do mention the name of Robert. Uh, and as in the morning, because they do know he's dead. But general feel everybody is happy for the well assassination of the tyrant. Hmm. What do you mean? What do you mean what? You said they were complaining. They were complaining a bit, just about uh, like it, there were there are a couple of people who are who think that Lord Robert was a lot more fit to be the Lord of Varus, and not Bonjuati, who is in their mind just a bit under experience for the job. He yes, he was a great leader of the uh, well rebel faction, but they feel like Lord mm -hmm. Robert held fast against the tyrant and. It seems what like he had a Lord Robert. He was was he the guy who he was the first tried to for the throne. Yeah, didn't he? Wasn't he our prime suspect in the like, murder of the king's son? Mm, I don't know. Was he? We had. I don't a list know. Of... I will take this. Well, you would know about that. Though. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I... Thimble oh, okay, have cool. no Thimble idea. Then. Yep, Thimble has no idea. No, that's cool. Uh. I, I... Okay, if people seem fairly pleased with it, I don't, I don't make a big stink. Okay, so in the cathedral going down, you find no more and no uh, less than actually 15 bodies. Mostly cultists, uh, but actually three Yuantis as well. Okay. Okay, okay I was talking about, uh, well, uh, just right now. Marfer. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's that's a lot of 1Ts. That was worth sacrificing a cathedral. Okay, and uh, do you ask Especially Bowen because for... it means they weren't going to come up, you know, behind us. Do you ask mm -hmm. Bowen for a rest of restoration? Yes, I do. Uh, Thimble, do you as well? Do a what? Uh, ask Bowen for a rest of restoration. Because as I said, if Bowen would be what? here, he would grant it to you, so I would give you this. But what do I need a lesser restoration for? You started puking as well. Oh, for oh for the disease, right? Yeah, totally. Okay, so um, actually, do you feel a lot better? But I'll say, Martha, that uh, the hit points will recover during the day, but you don't. It's not just instantly recovered. Okay. Okay, so that's about it. Um, you spend all your days doing this. Next morning, you wake up all rested. Your HP is up again, Martha, after a long night's rest. I'm actually not at full, for the record. So, no, no, the it's, it's at max. The max I'm goes up. up. I'm not not at full HP. Yeah, are you are you still um, keeping this uh, full seven weeks of rest? Mm -hmm. I'm keeping track. Yeah, this would be day number three, if I'm correct. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, the same guard shows up at the door um, to giving you the information that the bard has requested audience yet again, as he had in the previous two days. Oh, send him up. Send him up. He nods and said, yes. Yes, my old. And just after a few minutes, you can uh, hear the... 
of a, of a dog outside of your door and the heavy pounding of a god's fist. Uh, I take a moment to cast Alter Self so that I look several feet taller but still exactly like myself. Fimble? Sure. Anything you want to do? No. Okay. No. And what do you do, Marfa? <coughs> Come in! Uh, the guard opens the door, looks at you. Eyes go wide a bit. Doesn't say anything. Just this way. And a um, very, very well-dressed bard comes in. His hat... In all the seven, uh, all the seven colors of the rainbow. If there are seven colors, if there are more, I completely fucked that up. But yes, the seven, the colors of the rainbow, and he has all of his vest, even though patched with a lot of colors everywhere, it's high quality. He has a cape flowing down, a blue cape, a waist with silver work on the sides that seem to be like a small sea with veins coming from the sides. He has a weird instrument on his back. Looks something like this. Like a guitar. Never seen this instrument before. You have seen roots and something of the sort with guitars? Hmm, not so much, no. Hmm. There, at his side, there is a medium-sized dog. Um, he's a bit skinny than you would normally expect a dog to be, but he seems to be very happy wagging his tail. And as soon as he enters the room, the bar does a side, a, just a small gesture, and the uh, dog goes on two feet and starts moving as if he was just completely normal moving on two feet. Is the wait? Is the bard human? The bard is human. Okay. Ooh, sure. wait. What's my simple voice? Oh. I d mm -hmm. Ah. That's a female voice. Hey, I'm Femmo. I can't remember how to make it. Anyway, uh, I I go and play. I go up to the dog. Ooh, look at the dog. What's the dog doing? Who's what's the dog's name? The dog's name is uh, Adrian, my lord. Adrian. Yes. Um, it was a name after my uh, former son. No, that has died. Former battle. son? Did you disown him? No, he has. Oh, well, wait. No, never so. mind. Yes. Nope. No concern. Um, he is a faithful dog. My name is Oregian, and I am uh, delighted to meet you, my lord. Uh, I expect you to be Marfer you know, and Ethanbo. Oh, uh, it has been communicated to me to speak to you, so, but yes. Uh, Fimbo and Marfer, if I may call you that. Mm -hmm. I guess, yeah. How's it going? I have heard about your um, adventures, and I was... Well, uh, yeah, I think everyone in the city has heard about our adventures. The god just intercedes with a small look, saying, Is this all right? Should we leave? I, the guard? Yeah, the guard is like looking at you, like, do, do, we, do we leave or do we stay? Uh, you can, you can I, wait outside. The, guard. the guards go outside and close the door. And the bard continues on saying, I had a song uh, written for your adventures. And if it pleases you, I'd like to play it for you. Sure. Oh, okay. always interested in a good song. Thank you. Are you just like fact checking? Normally bards just make a song and play it. They don't really care if the you know people in the song hear it. Well, hey, 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 dude. He wants to play a song for us. Let him play a song. Just... I, I, look, it's weird, I know, but what are we going to do? I don't know. It's not every day that you get songs written about you. Maybe not for you. <laughs> oh, well, look at you, Mr. Big Shot. Maybe you stupid dwarves uh, uh, get songs proceed. made for you all the time. Proceed, Master Bard. I don't think dwarves he even liked music. Takes up his guitar and starts easily strumming the chords. And they're completely out of tune because the chords are new. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and he forgot to tune to, to them. Okay. And he says, uh, sorry, sorry, sir. My chords are new on, the, on my instrument and I require just a few minutes to uh, just 
put them uh, put them together. Is is that okay? This is very unprofessional. Are you normally this unprofessional? Yes, I'm professional to get home. I could just uh, DM getting home just an hour before this. Forgot to. <laughs> 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 Funny enough, and I did. Chucky writes a script for the show just so he can play his guitar. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Actually, this was already there. I just had a song prepared and uh, I played it on uh, Pinball Stories and I thought, why not play it here as well? Just give me one second. You guys entertain chat. I will mute my microphone just a bit. That's not muted at all. <laughs> hmm. Oh, uh, okay. I, I go over to Martur and go, Mar Martur, this guy is kind of bad. He's a very unprofessional bard. I mean, that, that's true. I mean, didn't he, he ask for an audience with us? He hasn't actually started playing yet. Maybe it'll be good once it's in tune. Maybe, but although, you although, sir, sir. I want to play a song for you to show. Lutes aren't as hard to tune as guitars, so this really shouldn't be an issue. It's not here. It's uh, my guitar is ready. If am I? Oh, good. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Please proceed. What would you say your name was? Oh, Elysian. Elysian. Yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna call you that. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna call you Mr. Fields. If. Okay, sir. <laughs> no, Elysian Fields. Anyone? No. Okay. I have no idea. Elysian I got it. Is taken I'm just gonna call him Bard. <laughs> Roman history. Fine. No, Greek, Greek, uh, Greek. Yeah. Elysian Fields are yes, part of the Greek Elysian mythology. Were Greek. Sorry. Well, Romans just stole Greek mythology. Same thing. I mean, yeah. that's true. They kind of yeah, yeah. took every, everything from there. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, Mr. Fields. Okay. And he continues on with his tune. And as he goes Wait, you're on, you're not gonna sing. I'm not gonna continue on because I need you to intercede with something. As he goes on singing, the dog starts moving on his two feet, and I. Okay, it's not my headphones. Um, Chucky, can you hear me? I take it that's a yes? No. You can hear me. Justin, no. Oh, there we go. Now I can hear you. Yeah, what now I can hear you. Okay. That was really weird. Well, that was... Yeah, we, can, we can hear everyone now, but that was weird that it killed the audio for us. Yeah. There's probably an error in either. Skype since... We couldn't hear you, and we couldn't hear anything else, but uh, Chak could yeah. hear us. Yeah. Uh. uh well, they didn't hear you say anything, because apparently they couldn't hear you at all. Yeah. Just... Uh, the last thing I said was, I'm keeping an eye on the dog. Yeah. Shit. 
we have to make wisdom saving throws because the song is so good. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> This is bad. Okay. The fact that both of us have to do yeah. is really bad. Um, oh, that's not good. I get to use my lucky feet after I make a roll, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. D20 minus one. All right. Oh, God. Yeah, that three is terrible. Uh... Yeah, my rolls have not been good going well today. <sighs> I'm going to stick with my 14. Oh, it's back! It's back! <laughs> People can't hear me now. God damn it. Okay, sorry about that. Yes, I know, guys, you can't hear me. I, I don't know. OBS just fucked up for one second. You guys should hear me right now. Yes, we, we fixed it. Good. So what I said is their eyes are going weary. Their heads, their vision is going hazy. And they should do me wisdom saving throws. And I didn't, then I continue on playing. Yes. Uh, 14 and 3. And that's the last thing that you hear before you fall to sleep. Both of us? What? Even with Both the 14? Of Both of you. There's, oh, damn it. There's no DM Haxbear. I can't run it. <laughs> <laughs> Victory! Uh, and you guys drift off. Nox, you have a plenty of dreams, and it feels like both of you, it's like you're traveling somewhere. Um, it's You're not actually moving, but you are going somewhere right now. And after a an amount of time, you don't know if it was minutes, hours, or years. You wake up to this tune yet again. You are currently sitting in a stone room, maybe 20 by 20. To one side, to the east side of the room, there's a door. And to the north side, there is a mirror. And to the west, a window. You have spell no did he cast? recollection of what this place is. What the hell spell was that? Hmm? You go on playing, stop metagaming. It's not metagaming. It it's is wondering meta. the mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 sleep a sleep spell affects a certain number of hit dice, which is static. So what else puts you to sleep? Dream? No. Go on and play your game. Alright, alright. <laughs> so you both, Thimble and Martha, wake up in this room. <sighs> it never ends. Martha? It just never Martha? ends. I, I poke around. Do I have my gear with me? You have everything with you. Uh, okay, so Martha, here, here's what I would propose. We stab him. Is I he in agree. the room? He is not in the room, no. As I said, this is exactly the description I gave. There's nothing else but the window, mirror, and door. There's a mirror on the north wall, a door on the... East. Was it the east well, wall? East or, like, basically, to your right, there's a mirror. Yeah. Uh, to your right, there's a door. To your, left, there's a mi- to your left, there's a window. And in front of you, there's a mirror. What's outside the window? Do you go and look? Yeah, I go look outside the window. You go look outside the window. You see a giant ruined city at the edges of it mist and clouds maybe you're not exactly sure you only see part of something that seems to be a colossal part of a statue looking closer at it, maybe it's a foot that ran somewhere in one part of the city a lot of um, castles, houses and towers destroyed, equipped some still standing have no it's... idea where you are is the window really high up? The window seems to be high up. You're maybe 200 feet off the ground. Okay, I break the window. You... I don't, no, no. Um, window is uh, just a stone slab. Like, it's, There's nothing inside. It's just a stone open slab. Oh, no is it big enough for me to crawl out of? It's about 2 by 2 feet. So that's a yes. Because I'm a yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm... 
It's a long way down. Yeah? I have a theory. Okay? Here, come here, come here. Face me. I have a theory. Uh, uh -huh. And I slap you in the face really hard. You give me a slap roll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, surprised, for the record. Okay. So with advantage. Should, yeah, with advantage. You have advantage on that. You have advantage. Is that a strength attack? That is a strength attack, 2D20 yeah. 2d20 plus 4, then. And it is a sneak attack, in a way. Uh, sneak attack only works with light weapons, dex-based weapons. If this is strength-based, I can't do it. Oh, uh, not plus 9, so that's a 15 to hit. It's going to hit. I'm sorry. Okay. No, actually, uh, uh, 15 misses. So you're trying to... Play Seven, 17 to hit. I'm sorry, 17 to hit. Oh, 17 will hit. Yeah. Okay, so you give me 1d3 non-lethal or maybe lethal damage. Two. Okay, not lethal or non-lethal? <laughs> I'm... A non-lethal. Am okay. I that low I mean, on I'm health? Trying to kill Is there some reason I'm low on health? <laughs> uh, you slap it in the face decently hard. And he just has a very red mark on his face right now. Ow, I don't think we're asleep. We wouldn't be in each other's dreams. Dude, dude, you hear the music? Besides, uh, where we were we before this, right? We were, in, we were in the castle? Do we, do we still hear the music? Give me a perception check. I thought you said that we still heard the music when we woke up. Yes, you heard the music for a bit until you woke up. And after God, that, there's no music. Awful today. Cool. Your O's are amazingly bad. Let's see. Maybe Fimble saves you from this. Nope. Nope. You just hear a voice coming up. Now, my dearies, it wouldn't be um good to do that. You just hurt yourselves. Now, before you get anything in your mind, I am here to help. I am. Not Marjorie, I'm pretty sure this is a dream. I think if we jump out the window, we'll fall to the ground and we'll wake up. Okay, you first. Uh, okay. I, I climbed through the window. <laughs> but but the leave voice. all your expensive stuff, you know, just in case. It's a dream, buddy. It's a dream. The voice says, it is a dream, but you are in some place else. If you die there, you will die in your real life. Well, real If we body. die in the dream, we drive for reals? Yes. I don't we think so. If we steal something in the dream, do we steal it for real? <sighs> I've heard you were stubborn. But I did not expect this. I'm not okay. stubborn, I'm inquisitive. I, There's a difference. I look a, I do I do I have a water skin on me? You have a water skin. My character sheet is out of date. If you okay, if I you're drink character... the entire water skin. I, I, dr I drink as much water as I can. You drink a lot of water, but you don't really feel the taste of water. It's like it's going down, you know it's going down, but you don't feel the drink of water. Like... Alright, Martur, this is totally a dream. I'm just gonna I'm gonna jump out this window. And when I hit the ground, we're gonna I'm gonna wake up, okay? And then I'm gonna try okay. and wake you up. Okay, okay, that sounds fair. I wouldn't advise right. that. I, I look down the... It's like a 200-foot drop? It's a 200-foot drop. <laughs> I cannot save you unless you exit this yeah, place. Yeah, shut up, level. whoever the fuck you are. You, you brought us here. You, I'm not going to listen to you. You clearly imprisoned us in some sort of fucking dream. Of course you're not going to tell me that this is a way out. Duh. I look back at Martur. Martur, I'm a little scared. <laughs> you should be. I think it's a bad idea. <laughs> I think it's gonna work. I I think it's a bad I think idea. It's gonna work. You know you know what I, you know what I hear works. I no, hear smashing no. mirrors makes you feel better. No, because in in dream, if you fall, you always wake up right before you hit the ground. Yeah, does that include magical dreams? Because I'm pretty sure this is a magical dream. Yeah, but, he, he, but it's a dream. I'll be okay. And besides, our bodies are in the castle. He couldn't actually have like moved, teleported us out of the castle. No, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the illusion of trauma won't cause trauma. I mean, illusion spells hurt people all the time. I speak from no, personal experience. Illusion spells hurt people? Some of them. If you die in an illusion spell, will you actually die? Oh, yeah. Really? I'm a wizard. You're not Take making me very it. confident in my, in my decision here. <laughs> uh -huh. What happens if I break the mirror? I'll, I'll ask to the room. Look into it. Don't look into it. Don't look into it. Yeah, I don't look into it. I just like sidle up to it from like uh, the side of the wall and swing without ever looking at the mirror. 
a swing at it and your hammer bounces off like as if as if the mirror itself was made of steel so it's a magical mirror i activate the special ability of my hammer and go at it again you break the mirror Ha! <laughs> ah. uh, well now if you want to ever want to get out you have to use that mirror good luck with that I cast All right, well, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to... You break it, and then you fix it. Yeah. All right, I do it. I jump out the window. You jump out the window. I jump... I jump the... I, I'm confident in my assessment that jumping out of the window will not result in my death, and that it will wake me up. I do it. You jump out so of the window, that's and... Um, ten, that's 20 D6 falling damage? You jump out of the window, and... <laughs> You fall, you fall, and you're very close to hitting the ground. And I and wake up. One second, and I think that's our cue for a break. Oh god, I forgot that song. We will come back, and Neil, I'm not going to steal your line anymore. I mean, go. I'll we'll see you guys on the other side of the break, and on the other side of the dream too.